Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here. Yeah, so this is the return of Super Friends. Wow, it's been a while. It's been a brick, as they say. It's been a few months, I think, at least like a, a good half year or so, I would say. Getting on to another DC, potentially DCEU, we don't know if it's connected or not yet, project is The Batman, which I heard a report, it might not actually be called The Batman anymore, but The Penguin is all but officially confirmed to be the villain. And what I mean by that is pretty much everyone has confirmed it is The Penguin, except the actual writer of the movie. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And there might be a secondary a, villain too. A, what do you think about that? Lot, actually, um, <laughs> um, yeah, he keeps a pretty yeah. tight lip. Um, so, what do I think about the penguin being potentially being a villain? He, yeah, how do you feel about um, penguin? I'm happy because I'm happy that he's given another shot because one, oh, I can't I can't remember his name, but the but the but the actor that plays him on Gotham, he he sort of made that character his own. Um, and he did something different with that character, but it also still feels like Penguin. And I've been dying to see that done in a movie. I've been dying to see Gangster Penguin proper. You know what I mean? My yeah. boss Penguin. The Penguin with the shotgun and the umbrella. The Penguin that... Like yes, Arkham Penguin. Arkham Penguin. Exactly like Arkham Penguin. And I think it's a good... I think he's a good... Because I, I still feel, and I know that the rumors are out there too, I still feel like there's going to be other villains, whether it be two more or one more. I think he's strong enough to lead, to be the main villain of a movie on his own, but I also think that makes him even more stronger if there's someone else there with him. Sort of like how they do in the comics and even in the Arkham games. He's strongest when he has someone else to play off of and he has someone else to team up and do villainy with. You get what I'm saying? Um no, I, I, f I definitely mm -hmm. get what you're saying. I wish it was a penguin, though. Yeah. I just, I feel like Penguin's been done a few times. You know, I, I feel like, yeah, he got good exposure on Gotham. He's been done in the previous, you know, the Burden movie. I would have preferred seeing a character we haven't yeah. seen before, honestly. Because, like, I, I thought we were getting Deathstroke initially. <laughs> he was supposed to be the original, like, OG villain for Josh, the Batman you gotta film. Stop doing this to me, man. Now was... You gotta stop doing this to me, man. We, we get it, man. It was, <laughs> there was great stuff lined up, and it's never happening. <laughs> I also I also really was hoping we'd get... I, I don't know. A lot of people wanted the Court of Owls, but I didn't really want the Court Not of Owls. Yet. I was Not hoping yet. we'd get... Yeah, I mean, I would have liked to see maybe, you know, Hush, potentially, or... Clayface. I've always been a huge Clayface fan just because I feel like you can really mm -hmm. push that detective element with someone like mm -hmm. Clayface. And it could be a sympathetic um, story because he's a you know. Yeah, and yeah. I would I would love to actually see something where it's like there's a bigger villain at mm -hmm. play using Clayface. So like Clayface is like posing as someone mm -hmm. not knowingly. Like he's like <laughs> hip like hypnotized, yeah. something like that. And then you could do like the Mad Hatter is a real villain or something. Oh screw you. Know, you. Like, you watched the so much you can you. Do. They do that in this episode. Yeah, what, they... really? I don't, nah, I don't know oh, what you're talking up. about. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like there's so much more you can do mm -hmm. than uh, using the penguin again. Even though if they do the penguin in more of like the crime boss kind of way, you can do some interesting stuff yeah. with that. I'm also really curious. I would love to see them flesh out the criminal underworld mm -hmm. more if this is connected to the other DC movies. Just because we know the Joker is like a pimp crime boss mm -hmm. dude. So like... How do the other, like, are there a bunch of other crime lords, like the Penguin, maybe, that fit into the Gotham Underground? Like, how does that work? Oh, really that sounds curious. like a good... Especially because we're getting Black like Mask. Sounds like a good uh, so, editorial like, right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sounds like a pretty good editorial. Um, <laughs> um, to, go, to go back to the villain discussion, even though we're still on it, I am with you. Even though I said I'm, I'm interested to see the Penguin, I don't want it to be the Penguin. Not solely the Penguin. Um, I completely agree. Penguin's been done already. He's being done great on Gotham. Penguin can have a break. You know, I I much rather, like you said, I would love for them to flesh out um, the underworld, the, the, the crime world. And I think that, you know, like you said, Deathstroke, it it pains me to know that they were going to do Deathstroke. Ben, ben Affleck was going to use Deathstroke. They had the costume ready. He was casted. And it was going to be based off of the game. It was going to be like a game of cat and mouse. That is perfect. And 
Give me Hugo Strange. Hugo man. Strange, dude. I I've been watching Young Justice, and I said the same thing. Hugo Strange would be perfect because they could. No, I've been saying this since the Arkham it's, games because they used him and they hyped him up as dude, the main villain before dude, the twist. Dude, it's it's a lot that they can do. Like that's what makes the Batman Rogue Gallery so dope is that they're all villains that can carry their own. You know, I'm not saying like Mad Hatter. Hell, even Mad Hatter could carry his own if they made it like a trippy, you know, Batman. Yeah, yeah if you write if it you right. Write it right. You know, but but um, but like you said about the Court of Owls, I'd like to see the Court of Owls done, but just not yet. And the only reason I say not yet is because they're starting to saturate them a bit. They don't have that. Yeah, I'd rather them be in a Nightwing movie anyways. Yeah. Since the New 52, technically the Court of Owls have more of a direct line with Nightwing than they do with Bruce. They do. They do, but... I mean, Nightwing was supposed to be a talent, so they could play exactly, with that. Exactly, they can play with that. But see, only reason I'd like it, I'd like it to be... Well, it could be both. Like, you know, Nightwing could be in a Batman movie and it could affect them both. But all I know is when I read that first issue of the New 52, or well, that first arc, and Batman yeah. was being put through the ringer, and he, and they have you turn the comic as he's, as he's diving deeper into madness, like you have to physically turn the comic because the panels are upside down. That That's the type of insanity and horror that I want to see Bruce deal with because Gotham is a, is a effed up place, man. Gotham is really yeah, but they don't always make no, you feel that. No, they don't. That. They want you to think exactly. it's Chicago, but exactly. it's like exactly that's how it should be. Gotham should be an effed up place, and we started to see yeah, like Chicago got mm-hmm. Chance, Gotham got yeah. Batman. <laughs> I ain't going to mention Kanye on this podcast. I already Chicago's did. Chicago's but... got Chance. <laughs> that's funny. Um, chance would totally be against Batman. Um, but like, like they sort of started to do with BVS. Where the human trafficking thing, like where that the, the sex ring is going on, like the human trafficking ring. Gotham is a dirty place. Yeah. It's like there's a lot of t- villainy and bad stuff that happens, and it's not. I'm not saying I need to see all of that. I just would like to see Batman. I'd like to see him fully reflect on that in a movie. You know what I mean? Because in the Nolan movies, yeah. we knew that Gotham was how. What was the phrase they were using? Gotham's like a cancer or whatever they were using. But we never really saw him have to deal with that outside of the first movie when he's in the Narrows. I want to see them really dive into that, especially with the fact that we know. Well, I don't know where Matt's going to take it, but we know that this is a Batman that's seasoned. He's seen a lot of ish. He's dealt with a lot. Well, you hear the recent rumors where it might be a younger Batman. Supposedly, they they want to cast mm-hmm. a a guy, you no, know, uh, like a, mm-hmm. a young guy. I heard those rumors though. There might just be flashbacks, like flashbacks. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just so they can preserve like Ben Affleck see, more. See, so funny you say and, uh, that. I presented that idea to. We did it. We did. On it we did. Back. And I presented that idea to somebody, and people were trying to say I was crazy. I was like, "Listen, I was like, I'm not saying that you need to use the um, the de aging technology, but if there's a way where Ben could still be Batman, but we see someone else or a de aged version of him in the suit for a majority of the movie, and he's trying to." figure out a crime that connects to the present day and what happened in the past you've got me sold just on that alone yeah that would have been cool like what if batman's first case like something from that comes back mm-hmm. to haunt him right like, that would have been cool plus i just saw a picture of ben affleck and he is not in any way shape or form no, in he's not. shape <laughs> it's so, funny because um, every time i see one i'm like oh ben <laughs> i'm like oh man <laughs> yeah like that's how i can confirm that he's like not playing yeah. batman yet officially because um yeah that's that's who won't yeah. fit that's all I'm gonna say. That's, that's yeah, and if they fit. and if they did try to get him to do it, he'd have to do like he did with the Justice League reshoots and just puff up his chest, <laughs> just suck it in and puff up his chest. <laughs> yeah, they have to give him what they gave uh, ladies back in the day and like oh the girdle, the girdle. They have to give him the girdle. Yeah, the hold the yeah, stomach in. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you know. I'm glad he's he's doing good. He's healthy, but he's not, he's not in Batman shape right now. And um, yeah, he's been on record before saying that he wasn't a big the biggest fan of getting in that shape he just wanted to eat a burger and I, I respect it you know so but if there's a way that they can do it where we could just see him in a double-breasted suit like ben affleck to see him in like a, a, a suit the whole time and then see someone else in the bad suit i'd be down i'd be down with it yeah also if they could find a way to set up batman begins i wouldn't be upset that's, that's not just happening saying. man you got you got a I'm, you got a better I'm, chance of them setting that up very early like soon in young justice and I don't know anything. I'm just saying you got a better chance of them setting that up. Honestly, I'd be do- I'd be down for that. Like if Bart secretly has like a 
a contact in the future that gets brought to the past as yeah. Terry McGinnis. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be yeah, pretty but that, that, that Bat Fam's expanding, though, on the show, so we got some stuff coming. But, um, but yeah, the, as far as the movies go, um, I know we're still on that. You know, I don't really know who... I'm, I'm down to see whatever villain Matt Reeves is ready to give us. I just don't need to see... I don't need to see Ra's al Ghul. I don't need to see Two-Face just yet, even though I really want to see another Two-Face. I definitely don't need to see um, no I don't need to see Joker. As much of a crime as it is that we have Ben Affleck as Batman and Jared Leto as Joker, and they're not going to see the screen together. They've never seen the screen together um, as Batman and Joker. Um... That's a crime. Except for that deleted scene in BVS that was taken out. I, I think I know what scene you're... I think you I know, know what I'm talking, talking about? talking about the flashback? The one... Yeah, the one where he like is like beating the shit out of the Joker and like the origin of why Joker got the tattoos after he killed Jason and stuff and why Wayne Manor was burnt down and all that stuff. That was confirmed to be real? Yeah, it was like a deleted scene. Like They didn't actually like... They didn't shoot it, but it yeah, was like in it the was, script is what you're saying? Yeah, it okay. was supposed to be the original part okay. of the movie. But, but even out. so, it never happened. And that's a shame. I mean, Zack Snyder said it it, it happened. He just said it wasn't filmed. That's so. what I'm saying. Josh, that's what I'm saying. It's not, we're not going to see it. We're not going to see it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's like, it's it's frustrating. That's that's frustrating. But um, just give me whoever. I wouldn't mind seeing Man Bat. But at the same time, I don't know. But you could do a lot of prosthetics for Man Bat. Um, I was about to say, I don't know if I want to. Uh... I was going to. I don't think I, I don't. Want I don't know back. if I don't know if I want, I want something more personal. I, I want it personal too. Because Superman's like right across the lake now, basically. So I I don't want something that like would even give a reason to tempt Superman's involvement. You know? Yeah, what I'm but like, that happens. Like I feel like man, that bat, happens. Superman might be just a little nosy like and could, be like, oh, it's a boring. They could just day. ignore that. You know what I mean? Like they could just establish like Bruce just says Clark knows not to come over here unless I ask for help. You know what I mean? He's like, Clark don't want to come over here no more. I got that kryptonite spear. Right, but it would be funny just the thought of seeing Batman, like, grappling on the man bat, chasing him around the city, when he could just call Clark and be like, hey, man, can you just come knock him out of the sky real quick? Just like... (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Like, just, hey, can you just shoot a little little laser beams over here? Just a little heat vision real quick. Um, From your apartment. Don't even have to take five seconds. Um, I want to see Kite Man. That's who I want to see. Just because because of how great he was in Rebirth. I want to see Kite Man. Did you ever read that? I did. I'm I'm actually upset. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's great, man. He's great in it. He's like I'm kite man. Uh, I want to see that. I want to see. See, it sucks because I want to see a, a Riddler put to live action, but we've got a good one on TV, and they did him years ago. I don't know. I I, I want something more personal. Um, I'd be cool with Owl Man if they were to use it to like set up the Court of Owls in like a Nightwing spinoff or something mm-hmm. like that. I think I'd be cool with that because they did the the Owlman New Fifty Two where it was like secretly Bruce Wayne's potentially like long lost brother basically. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that was like a pretty cool twist when they did it at the time. But, but see, if you do time, that, you've I mean, got to bring. That's a Justice League movie. <laughs> you got to, yeah, nah. man, because he's Earth Three. He's a part of the Crime Syndicate. No, no, no. It's a different Owlman. It's uh, Owlman related to the Court of Owls. Oh, you talking 52. about the? I, I, you talking about the second part of Court of Owls, like the Night of the Owls, the second part, the second arc of that story. Yeah, where it was oh, like the yeah. guy who's like Mayor Lincoln yeah, something, yeah. and it was secretly revealed he's Bruce Wayne's Lincoln brother. Lincoln March, I think that's what his name, is, something like that. Yeah, Lincoln March. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I would like to see that actually. I completely forgot about but that yeah, because I always you just could... read the Court of Owls and then I stop. <laughs> I always just reread that. Yeah. Yeah, because you can. You don't even have to have him be Owlman. You can just set up the character of Lincoln mm-hmm. March. And, uh, you know, the fans will take it from there. But, yeah, since this is our first episode back for Super Friends, uh, leave a comment so we can do viewer questions for next week's episode. Also, go listen to us if you're still listening to now, which, you know, if you are, shout outs to you. Uh, tell me what your favorite cookie flavor is. You can listen to this on SoundCloud and Spotify. So, not just YouTube if you're listening to segments, but comment below what you guys thoughts and uh yusuf i'll let you any final thoughts you might have um you know just excited to finally be on the podcast we've been trying to get it together for a minute um it's great to peek my head out from behind the scenes every now and then every now and again um next week though i know i've sort of did like a long spiel a spiel on it already but that was just mainly the first episode next week i really want to do a young justice deep dive since we'll be at the mid-season finale so that'd be dope um, look out for that and you know just keep looking out for my videos man I put a lot of hard work into editing these videos so 
you know, watch the videos. That's all I got. <laughs> all right, well, we'll catch you guys next week.